Alright, so here's going to be a nether optimization problem. Here's my shameless plug for my website, so sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> so let me read this one to you. I'm not going to write it all out, but I will draw a picture to go with it. It says, find the dimensions of the rectangle of largest area that has its base on the x-axis and its other two vertices above the x-axis and lying on the parabola y equals 8 minus x squared. All right, so what the heck are they saying? So, so here we're going to draw our parabola, y equals 8 minus x squared. And that's a parabola facing upside down that gets um, shifted up 8 units. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a rectangle inside of here. And we want our rectangle to have a maximum area. We want the area to be as large as possible. Okay. So the way I'm going to start this is, well, just suppose we're here at some generic coordinate, x comma y. Well, what that means is we've gone out a distance of, well, x units. And I'll squeeze it over here. We've gone up a height of y units. That's what it means if we're here at the point x, y. So it looks like the area of my rectangle, I have to be careful. I don't want to just say it's x times y, because that's just going to give me one half of it. But if I double that, that will give me the area of the rectangle. So this is the thing that I'm trying to, in this case, maximize which means this is the thing that I have to take the derivative of. Okay, So just like before though, the thing you want to do is you want to get the equation that you're trying to maximize or minimize down to a single variable. Well, in the last problem I did, we had a constraint based on the area. Um, in this problem, your constraint's kind of already given to you for free. We've got a relationship between y and x namely the fact that it lies on this parabola we know that y is equivalent to 8 minus x squared alright well then easy enough it says the area then is going to be 2x times y again y being 8 minus x squared so you could go ahead and take the derivative of this using the product rule but anytime you can clean up the thing you have to take the derivative of it'll make taking the derivative much easier so 2x times 8 is 16x. 2x times negative x squared is negative 2x to the third. And that's going to be the area of this rectangle all based on just knowing how far out we go. So just like before, we'll simply take a derivative. The derivative will get 16 minus 6x squared. Um, and I need to find the critical numbers of this. So I'll set this stuff equal to 0. Um, it looks like I can add 6x squared over to the right side, leave 16 on the left, find another piece of paper here, and if I divide, I'll get 16 over 6 equals x squared, which, what does that reduce to? They're both even, so it looks like we get 8 thirds is what x squared equals, and if I take the square to the top, well, I'm not even going to do it. We'll get square root of 8 thirds. And again, we'll get positive negative algebraically when you, when you solve this equation. But again, I guess we could think about x as being a negative distance. We're, we're going to end up getting the same um, area in any case. We would end up with a negative area. So in a sense, x represents a length. So I guess it probably just makes sense to stick with the positive one anyway. All right, so that's x. Um, in a sense, I mean, this is the only critical number. This is going to have to give you a maximum. You could probably convince yourself that the minimum is going to be, well, arbitrarily close to zero. You could make this rectangle as wide and, you know, it would be really not very tall at all in that case. So, to me, this has to be the maximum. There's just no, there's no way uh, about it. And there would have to intuitively be a maximum for this problem. So to me, it's kind of a moot point to check that, in fact, this is a maximum. Um, but you can check that the area is increasing 
and then decreasing after this value so that square root of 8 over 3 is in fact the maximum. And again, this problem wanted the, the dimensions of the rectangle. Well, again, we know our relationship. We know that y is equal to 8 minus x squared. So I'm going to plug in the fact that x is square root of 8 over 3 squared. Well, if you square square root, you get 8 thirds. If I multiply top and bottom by 3, I'll get 24 over 3. 24 minus 8 is 16 thirds. So it looks like the dimensions of my rectangle. Remember the width was twice x, so it looks like it's going to be 2 times square root of 8 over 3 by 16 thirds will be the dimensions of my rectangle in this case. Okay, so again, basic idea. There's something that you're trying to maximize or minimize. You want to get that down to a single variable using some sort of constraint. Again, my constraint here was just the fact that it lies on this parabola. Once you have that, it's simply a matter of just taking your derivative, finding the critical numbers, determining what critical number gives you a maximum or a minimum, and then, you know, this problem could have actually asked for the area, in which case, well, I would have to multiply my dimensions out. Um, in this case, they just asked for the dimensions, so that's all I'm going to give them. So that's the basic idea, again, on these maximum and minimization problems, um, excuse me, these optimization problems. I've got another example floating around out there in case you missed it. Um, also, feel free to take a look at my website if you've got any questions or want to see some more optimization problems, um, either ones in general or ones specifically. Just shoot me an email, and I'll be happy to get to it as soon as I can.